What's up watch people, welcome back to the channel. We've got an absolute corker to show you today, which is this Tag Heuer Formula One Alec Monopoly watch that holds a reference code WAZ1119. And as always, if you like what you see here, please head over to our website at thewatchvillage.co.uk to check out the collection that we've got. You can find this watch on there and you can make it yours if you do like what you see here. So first thing first, it's probably beneficial for me to tell you a little bit about Alec Monopoly and what he does, just so that we can get a better understanding of what this watch is actually all about. So, Alec Monopoly, whose real name is actually Alec Andon, is a street artist that's originally from New York. He's been covering his face with surgical masks way before coronavirus was around to hide his facial identity. You can recognise most of his artwork from his signature use of Mr Monopoly, aka the Monopoly Man, and Richie Rich. Since his arrival onto the scene, Alec has rose to great success and has produced loads of work for many celebrities. So it's no surprise that Alec's cool, successful vibe caught the attention of Tag Heuer that quickly snapped him up as a brand ambassador. And since then we've seen quite a few additions to the Alec Monopoly line from Tag Heuer. So enough of that, let's get straight into it and see what we get in the box with the WAZ1119. Now as this watch was originally released in 2018, it does come with a newer, smarter style box that Tag now provide. As we can see, the outer shell of the inner box is decorated with a really nice mirrored style Alec Monopoly motif placard. As for the inside of the box, it is quite traditional in terms of what we are used to for these newer style boxes. However, it is a little bit plain, especially for a watch like this. I would have thought that Tag would have gone the extra mile just to put some nice colours or artwork in there, really jazz that box up just to reflect Alec a bit more. but. They haven't done that it's a little bit disappointing to be fair but tag have tried to do something they've put that same placard that we see on top inside with the alec monopoly signature on there along with the printed branding again that we usually find in there and of course last but not least we have the watch inside the box sitting upon a nice black cushion As for the paperwork side of things, we've got a really nice commemorative booklet in there. Along with a typical instruction manual and international warranty card. As for the specs of the watch, they are very typical of the Formula 1 range that we expect to see. The watch is powered by a quartz movement, so it's pretty simple and easy to use and maintain. It's quite ideal as a first time watch purchase. In terms of the dimensions, it has a 41mm diameter with around a 12mm thickness and a lug width of 20mm. In terms of fitting, it does sit nicely on the wrist. It's very typical of the F1 specs, so like I say, no surprises there really with how it fits. But overall, it is very nice. Not too big, not too small, just a standard fit really. So moving on to the door now, we can really see that this watch is a work of art, staying true to Alex's profession and style. There's a whole array of colours going on with this dial and it really makes a watch pop. All of the colouring used on this dial is quite bright, particularly the green money notes, but all of the colours work together beautifully and give the watch a really cool cartoony feel. Now when we look at this watch close up, we can see that there's not actually a lot going on in terms of logoing and time telling features on the watch. Tag really have just let the artwork speak for itself on this one. The only other major feature on the dial besides the artwork really is the date window. This does feature a quick change function, but I do think it gets in the way of the artwork just very slightly. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't take away everything, the dial is still absolutely stunning, but personally I just think it would be a little bit better if that date window wasn't there. As for the hands, they are very typical of what we usually see on this range of Formula 1 watch. Really nice and clear to see, very simple, even though there are no physical numerals for them to be pointing at. And of course, they have been treated with Luminova, so they glow very nicely in the dark. 
Moving on to the Kaisen bezel, we can see that the steel has a completely brushed finish to it, along with a black PVD coating to the bezel. The lugs on this one are nice and short, so it does give the watch a more compact feel and makes the bezel appear a lot larger in relation to the case size. The sides of the watch are also still brushed. They look very smart, quite simple, but they do give the watch a really nice little curve to it. On the crown side, we have an easy grip PVD coated crown that's been sandwiched by a crown guard. It operates very nicely, easy to turn, easy to grip, no complaints from us here at all. As for the bezel, it's a riveted PVD bezel, it looks very smart with the brushed steel contrast on there from those numerals. And not to forget, it is a functional piece as it is a unidirectional bezel, so we can use that to time things. As for the strap, it's pretty simple on this one. We've got a black perforated rubber strap with an easy buckle system, so it's very simple to adjust. It's fairly breathable due to those perforation holes and is actually quite soft on the wrist. Nevertheless, the quality of rubber is still very durable. And finally, we have the back of the watch. Here, we of course have the Tag Heuer Shield logo, along with Alex's signature motif. And of course, we also have the standard engravings around the outside of the watch that tell us the waterproofing and all other details of the watch. Overall, in terms of visuals, this watch is hands down one of my favourite pieces that Tag have ever put out. There's absolutely no doubt that this is a standout piece. However, I do think that Tag could have put a bit more effort into this watch just to make it pop that little bit more and just make it just a tad more special. Nevertheless, it is a great watch and it's ideal as an entry level piece or for someone that does want to collect something that's a little bit different. And there we have it guys, that's our review of the Tag Heuer Alec Monopoly watch. Hope you enjoyed the video, if so please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, it's all greatly appreciated. We hope to see you again soon, but until then, thanks for watching.